What's that? Johnny Lee Long in a Hobo Depot. And it's cold out here. It's winter time. You can see I got my fancy hat on. I also got heat out here too. So I just ain't trying to take, haven't had time to take my fancy hat off. All right. So today we're gonna talk about um, this wonderful bass. Um, I I I own one back in the day, and it's you know it's just amazing bass. They're hard to come by sometimes, uh, but when you do find them, most of the time they've been played to snot. <laughs> I said it's not. Oh, the film I said it. All right. So basically, uh, when the bass came in, it had um, it had an EMG preamp in it, which was it was it was cool. Don't get me wrong. The EMG was cool. Um, it just what wasn't what I wanted to hear at this particular time. And I know you said, well, how you can hear anything? Them things all over your ears. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. So anyway, um, I didn't I didn't particularly like what I heard. Um, I like the pickups that was in it, though. But somebody had gutted the bass out uh, from its originality. Can I say originality? Is that a word? Originality. If it ain't, I just made it up. I'm take charge of it, too. All right. So somebody changed the originality of the bass. And so um, it sounded kind of dark. And it was very dirty. Um, it has been played. Um, so it went through the Hobo Depot recon. And after that. Um, she turned out, they look like this. This is a BSR 5J. This is a Ken Smith BSR 5J. This is a 97 model with the big butt. You got a butt on you too, girl. All right, so when it came in, it had EMGs in it, um, which I kept in it, because it pretty much up, up to date EMGs. Um, all this was dirty. Um, the whole base was dirty, actually. So I kept the knobs. I, I kept the same configuration, except <gasps> I put a switch in the back. And this, the preamp that I put in it is an all deer um, classic preamp. All deer classic preamp. Comes with a three-way switch, and it's amazing. Once you hear it, you'll be like, I got to get me one of them jumps. I said jumps. <laughs> That's not a word. Okay. Because you didn't even pronounce it right. All right. But anyway, so um, it's a real Kiss Smith. It's a USA model. It's a BSRJ. Can you see it? Um, all the hardware has been taken off. Everything has been taken off the base and recon, refinished. All right. Even the fretboard has been done. The whole base was taken apart. If you look at my my uh, face uh, at my Facebook site, which is the uh, Hobo Depot, you will see that everything on the base has been taken off and, and cleaned. So she's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Um, I strung it with SIT strings. And a lot of people are like, SIT strings? Yeah. Foundation, baby. I really love these strings. I've, I've been dealing with SIT for years, even when I was on the road. I'm not on the road now. Only thing I, only thing I do now is I drive the road. <laughs> I ain't on it no more. Uh, yet. I might have to go back on it, though. So anyway, so um, let's hear it. Oh, now let's see the configuration. Configuration on this thing is... You got uh, volume, which is the V, and then you got blend, which is the B, uh, back and front, and then you have bass, and then you have treble, and then you have mids, and that's a three-way cut. When you hear it, you can be like, that don't stink. It's stinking every, every, every click is stink. It's just a clicking, stanking, clicking thing. <laughs> clicking, stanking thing. All right, so let's hear it. I'm coming through my SWR um, um, LA-12, in case you don't have one. It's just a little, it's just a little amp um, with a little tweet in about this big. But wait till you hear this bass, though. That, that's going to be the kicker right there. All right, so everything is off. Let's turn everything off. Turn the bass on itself. Both pickups are on. Okay, let's make sure we're tuned. Because I don't want you guys like, dude, I know you just finished the bass, but it's out of tune. And it, it's, it's not much, but it's enough for those who have perfect pitch to say, dude, can you fix that for me? Thank you, him. Thank you, him. Awesome. Alright, so let's get this out of the way because I know a lot of you guys get irritated when you see a snort. 
hanging around your neck, head, or your headstock. <laughs> All right, let's turn this around a little bit. All right, so there's nothing on the preamp. When I say the preamp is not on, the preamp stays on. I just don't have it boost. Somebody said that on my YouTube. It's like, dude, you know, the preamp really stays on, you know, in case you said that everything is off. It's, it's just a boost. And I want to thank that person for telling me that. Front. Rear. Okay, both again. Can you hear it? It's still got that Smith sound. I don't care what you do. It still sounds like a Ken Smith to me. Okay? Now, let's start boosting. Now, oh, the switch. Let's put the switch down in first position. All right? So now we're going to start boosting in first position. Let's go to the treble. Okay? Miz. Bass. Woo! All right, so now... I got the amp on 10 o'clock. So the, the mids on 10 o'clock, bass on 10 o'clock, treble on 10 o'clock. It's not detent. Now, treble all the way. Woo! Bass, uh, mids all the way. Bass all the way. Ooh. Okay, let's go everything back. Now, everything off again or out. And we go to the second setting. This is the second setting. Treble again. Miz. Bass. Okay, treble all the way. Miz all the way. Bass all the way. Now, everything off again. We're going to make sure we do this right. And we're going to hit the switch all the way up. Let's go to treble again at D10. Let's go to sopranos at D10. <laughs> I said sopranos. Okay. Uh, bass at D10. Now, treble all the way. Altos all the way. Alright. Tenors all the way. Or bass. Alright. So we're going to cut everything back to D10. Alright. Let's see how she funks. Now, to me, that sounds like a Ken Smith. All that knuckling, all that roundness, all that booty underneath, all that sophisticated funk stuff underneath. I said sophisticated funk stuff. <laughs> Use that on your way home. All right. So let's go. That let's let's put that up. Uh, Switch all the way down and see what we got. Middle. Up. Woo! I love this. Mm. I love this. I love this. All the mids off because you know I'm not too much of a mid guy. To me, that switch works better when the mids are off. Woo, doggy. Woo, doggy. You a beast. 
chap. So there you have it, chap. There you have it. I said, there you have it, chap. <laughs> so folks, there you have it. I mean, this bass is like amazing. And it sounds good. So this is a Kiss Me of BSR 5J. It's a 97. And she got a lot of war paint on her. Because you can see war paint here, war paint there, war paint there. So she's been used. Some war paint back here. Some up here. But it's a beautiful bass. And it has, and it has, re it has stood the test of time. So guys, never get caught up on, hey man, my preamp went out of my Smith. I gotta call Ken because Ken will love you to call him because he's got extra, extra preamps. But if you can't get to Ken and you're on a gig and you need to put something else out there, I suggest, I suggest using the All Deer. Hey, even a Tone Monster would, would work in this thing, and it would be amazing. But I use EMGs. I didn't use them, but they already in here. I use the EMGs, and it worked fine. You know, and all this is all this is redone in a Hobo Depot. So guys, subscribe. Keep checking out my videos. And shout it, Kaka. Peace out. I love you, girl.